How's it going, YouTube? You got Pat Mac here, coach of the Sacramento Sand Slash, and we are in uh, the TGR this week, playing up against Stranger Danger, coach of the Pittsburgh Celestilas. You can see our team on the top and his team down below. Um, and of course, they're both arranged in speed order, as we do here, um, with fastest on the left and slowest on the right. Team that we're planning to bring is the six Pokemon you can see there, and the six that I'm expecting him to bring are just below that. Our game plan, uh, thinking about this as being doubles, right? Um, playing VGC. Um, we're going to be fighting some terrain wars. Uh, Indidi and Tapu Koko, we both have uh, terrain options. We also both have uh, unburdened Pokemon that we could bring too. So he could bring Sceptile, I could bring Kalucha. So we both got to kind of keep that in mind for how we want to fight these terrain wars. Um, terrain is actually going to be really important for us here because if terrain is not up, um, Sableye Quash is super scary for us to deal with. So we want to make sure that we can keep our psychic terrain going. For one, to be able to empower our expanding forces. And two, to make sure that we can't get hit by Fake Out, Quash, and whatever other random stuff he decides to bring at us. Um, so we really want to be able to play around that Sableye. And then the uh, third part of our game plan that we want to really want to make sure that we can execute here is, of course, being, if, being able to set up Xerneas with that power of Geomancy combo just getting super, super strong. And um, we also have Arcanine, um, who is being justified this week with a Dragapult um, with beat up. So if we can get up a big beat up uh, justified, then we should be able to chunk his team super hard um, with that big power boost. Also have a Trick Room plan with Behem and Kapraja, just in case he brings a fast mode like I think he would. We can kind of set up there and take advantage of that. Um, he does have some slow. He has some slower options. He like Porygon two. I don't have it listed as part of the six. I think he'll bring, but I I could really see that Pokemon coming. Um, and same with the Torcat. I think that would be pretty solid against us too. So really good match here. Really excited to play this game. And we'll cut here and we'll see you back in the match. So here we are in the battle, taking a look at his team. Uh, a couple of things that he brought we were expecting, and a couple of things he brought that we were not expecting. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get that. Let's figure out what we want to do first, and then I'll change the screen up. So I'm expecting Sableye and Silgaleo. I think those are two really strong options here. So I think we want to go with this, as well as the Arcanine would be really solid. Actually, what's is there something stopping us from setting up Trick Room? Is that a bad idea? I, think it's a, I don't think it's worthwhile. I don't think it's the right way to start. Um, so we're going to start with the NDD Arcanine. Let's bring the Dragapult as a solid option. And is there anything that Xerneas really checks here? The Solgaleo is really scary for Xerneas. So I don't know if that's necessarily what I want to bring. Um, Behem could be an option, but that doesn't really check the Solgaleo either. What do we want after we deal with Xerneas, or sorry, after we deal with Solgaleo. After we deal with Solgaleo, Xerneas looks a lot better. So let's do that. And we'll go ahead and get started here. Okay, and then he's got Lantern and Porygon 2 instead of the Sceptile. Okay, let's get that switched up. Lantern right there. And uh, no Salamence, and he brought Porygon 2. Oh my geez. <laughs> Arcanine's so big I can't see what his other one was. I was looking away at the moment. I think it's Sableye, right? Okay, it's Sableye. Alright. <laughs> okay, so we want to... Yeah, I think we want to try to put out a lot of damage here. So we're just going to go for um, Follow Me. And um, we're going to get off a... Hmm. Yeah, the plan here is to try to take out this uh, Solgaleo. I'm a little concerned that it might have weakness policy, but he could also... No, he can't Shadow Sneak it. Yeah, he can't Shadow Sneak it, so... Yeah, let's go for... Yeah, let's go for the Iron Head here. This way we can get a little more um, defenses up. I think that'll be a really solid play against... Uh against that physical attacker there. 
interested to see what he's going to go for. I could see him switch. No, he couldn't switch out, right? Because that would have happened before we Dynamaxed. Did he decide not to Dynamax? Let's see what we got. Oh, no, he is slower. Okay, that's right. He is slower. Okay, that's got to be up this little Galeo. And if we have the opportunity to take out this Sableye, that would be real nice. Helping hand. Okay. Yep, no use, follow me. I wonder if this is enough to take out the NDD. It might be, actually. We'd put in enough so that we could survive, like, a max darkness um, from the Solgaleo, but I don't think we can do it with a helping hand. Although, with a defense boost, maybe that is enough. We'll find out here. Okay, so that's a max quake. Oh, wow. Okay, we took that totally fine. And a special defense boost. I wonder if he thought we were a um, special attacking Arcanine, which we know. With, with the um, Iron Head, we, he knows we won't be. Um, I know we want to follow me because we don't want to get hit by the um, Quake on uh, our Arcanine, so we're going to do that right here. I think we, we could just get another big defense boost off, honestly, and that would be really solid. So let's do that again. If we could take out the Save Light, ooh, we are looking in such a better position. Getting the special defense boost on Slow Galeo could be pretty scary. That mon's al already super tanky, so just something that we'll have to play around if it gets to that point. Yeah, it's got really powerful uh, stats here. Oh wait, I'm s we Dynamaxed after his Slow Galeo. Slow Galeo should be faster than um, Arcanine, so we. I don't think we're max speed on our Arcanine either. So I'm curious to see what he's going for here. He must have more defensive investments in his Soul Galeo. Oh wow, that Porygon took that with a champ. Getting these defense boosts are really strong though. Yeah, wow, we're able to shoot these hits off. I'm a little concerned about being able to take out this Soul Galeo after, um, yeah, after, uh, oh, okay, we don't really want him to set up. Okay, we're going to go for an Expanding Force this time. Um, NDD is likely to uh, die here, um, and let's get the Sun off so we can get some more powerful, um, some more powerful Flare Blitzes off. Yeah, let's see, this... If he doesn't go after the NDD, we might have enough that we can take out the Porygon 2 and we can stop Trick Room from coming up. Not likely, but possible. Not likely, but possible. So we'll see if this is enough here. Max Darkness this time, okay. Yeah, it takes out the NDD. Fully expect that one to happen. I think we probably died even through a Protect, so I don't think it was worthwhile to do that. And this is almost certainly a... Um, a trick room coming up. Yeah, especially because he knows that our his Galeo is slower than our Arcanine, which really surprises me. I would have thought it would be the other way around. Um, so at this point, we're going to bring in... Yeah, we're going to bring in Xerneas here. We're not, in, uh, we're not in a really good spot, actually. Yeah, we're not in the best spot here. Because both those Pokemon are slower. We've got the special defense drop on the Arcanine, which could be um, bad for us. <laughs> Hitting Geomancy while there's a Slug Goliath in front of us doesn't sound like the best idea. We're going to go for a Protect here. And then um, let's see if we can get a KO on this, uh, this Porygon. It does have access to Recover, so I could totally see a Recovery coming out here. Yep. Okay. 
We'll see. I'm not sure if we're going to have enough to take it out. With Sun up right now, we have a much better chance. Yeah, that Protect was was important. We, we really needed that. Yeah, wow, that Porygon chews that hit up like a no problem at all. Okay, I think we want to try to preserve this for after um, after Trick Room if we can. I don't even know if we're going to have enough time though. Because we've got, we've got three turns left of Trick Room. Let's see, we can come in. Yeah, so this turn, let's switch out. Yeah, let's switch out the Dragapult this turn. Or switch out into Dragapult. Um, let's Flare Blitz. Uh, I almost want to know if it's weak to this policy. He's got, let's see, he's got one defense boost, one special defense boost. Yeah, he's got one of each. But we're not taking out the Porygon too. With what we have going on right now. So we'll try switching it up. And see what that gets us. Yep, another recover on the Porygon too, just keeping that thing extra healthy. It doesn't make a lot of sense for us to try to go after it again. Expecting this to go into the... Oh wow, this animation looks sick. Oh my gosh. What? Oh, that's tight. Okay, actually, so we have we have Focus Ash, so uh, we wouldn't have died from that hit anyway. Oh my god. The power. Wow. Freaking Arcanine. Oh my gosh, it took so much damage on the back end of that. Oh wow, okay. I, um, man, I kind of wish I'd done that trip here now. <laughs> I didn't expect to be able to take it out in one shot. But it did. That's awesome. We'll take it. Okay, so we take out Slogaleo. He's still got Sableye, plus he's got something else. So, let's see. So we've lost, uh, I should keep track of this. So we've lost our NDD. And he has lost, oh, okay, so he's got Lantern. So, uh, there's no Suicune. And there's no Tapu Koko. He's lost Solgaleo. He's lost a lot of the damage output on his team. If we can get, if we can get a light screen up right here, oh, we are looking in such a good position. Um, we're gonna protect. We're gonna stall another turn of this. Um, yeah, stall another turn of this trick room. And then uh, it looks like terrain is gone, so we can um, e speed um, next turn. Let's see if we can take a hit here. Soak. That's interesting. So he wants it to be a water type? Discharge. He's gotta be Volt Absorb then, because I'm pretty sure that hits everyone. Yeah, ooh, this is an interesting strategy. I like this. That's neat. Okay, Dragapult goes down. <laughs> oh, that's like a funny, I love it. Okay, uh, and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're looking, oh, I think we're in a good spot though. Our Xerneas is full health. I think Trick Room is ending this turn. Is it ending this turn? No, okay, so we can, um, we can protect here. And then we can E-speed. Yeah, cause we're not gonna be able to get, yeah, he's got <laughs> Discharge, super interesting. Um, I don't think it's, a, it's worth, it's not worthwhile to go for the Lantern here. Um, we're just getting some damage out on the Porygon. Oh, that's super interesting. This is a cool strategy. I like this. How are we going to deal with this next turn? Or right, next game. Uh, next game. We do have the Kaparaja, uh, which I think would be pretty solid. Knowing that the Arcanine can um, Oko, the, even with a plus one defense boost. Oh, Eerie Impulse too. Okay. Okay, in that case, um, so let's see, we could get the, we could get the like special defense boost and we could get the um, speed boost here, which I think is worthwhile. Yeah, the special defense boost is still gonna be worthwhile, whether we, whether we get the, um, the discharge or not. So let's get, um, cause that'll help us with that discharge. Oh geez, my cat. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, so let's get the Geomancy off. We'll probably get hit by an Eerie Impulse, so we'll lose some special attack. But we'll get the special defense boost, and we'll get the speed boost. Both of those are going to be good. Um, he likely sets up Trick Room here, so the speed boost is, isn't, isn't going to be as good, but the special defense boost will still be good. Ooh, that Eerie Impulse might neuter us quite a bit, though. Yeah, Trick Room makes sense. Okay, so at this point, we're probably hit by um, hit by the lantern again, um, but we're just gonna go off with a dazzling gleam. We'll end up being at minus two special attack um, from a second eerie impulse. Which okay, so we're gonna have to play around this for game two. I could see the Kaparaja being a good strategy. I could see fighting Trick Room with Trick Room. Um, to bring Behem. So he's got Steel, Darkness, and... Steel, Darkness, and Ground Move on the... Yeah, this is, uh, this isn't gonna do anything. He has Leftovers, too. Dang, this Lantern is, uh... Yeah, this Lantern is gonna stick around. This is something I was not expecting from him. This is a really cool strategy, though. I like this. I mean, I don't like it because we're going to be by it, but I like it because it's really cool. <laughs> um, I could see a soak coming out next. Um, yeah, that's fine, too. This is, we'll, uh, we'll get down to being, like, what, minus six um, on special attack, it looks like. Eventually. We're not doing any damage to this, so. The best we could hope for is like a crit, maybe. Um, but even then that's that's not gonna change anything. So we'll just keep uh we'll just keep using our move until uh until we get beat here. Yep, so there's the soak. So that the discharge is uh, super effective. So I think in game two, in game two, I'm just gonna try to take out that um, that Solgaleo super early on. Um, having this strategy makes me think that we want to have another physical attacker um, on our team. So we'll bring um, Kaparaja um, with us, and I think we might try to fight his Trick Room with our own Trick Room, um, just by being a little bit stronger. Okay, Rising Voltage, so that works along with the Tapu Koko. If he decides to bring that in the second game. Yeah. And even without that defense boost from Arcanine, we should have been able to take a hit um, from the um, ground attack on... Uh, Solgaleo, so we'll keep that in mind for game two. But right now we're just uh, we're just waiting until we go down. <laughs> in fact, uh, going for the Geomancy may have actually made this a little bit longer because we have the special defense uh, boost. The discharge is a nice combo with this though, because it um, it brings along the uh, the paralyzed chance, which I think is pretty solid. Okay, game one, really interesting strategy. Really interested to see how game two goes. Um, we're definitely going to switch up uh, what we're doing. Um, yeah, we'll definitely switch up what we got going on.
Okay, looking at um, game two, we're definitely switching up our strategy. Um, I think we're actually going to go with the Dragapult Arcanine uh, combo to start off with here. If he has um, Sableye to start off with, then this isn't looking as good, but we can also just switch in an Indeedee um, to take advantage of that. We can expect him to either try to set up Trick Room of his own, or we can also expect him to um, bring like a different uh, faster mode. I think either way, we want to have some um, physical attacking presence, so we're going to bring Kapraja this time. I think that'll help out against uh, some of the other stuff that he's got going on. Yeah, so we'll bring this uh, Kapraja instead of the Xerneas this time. Looks like he has a really solid plan against Xerneas, so I'm not going to try to play around that. <laughs> that thing did pitiful damage um, in the uh, first game. So we'll see if he wants to switch up his strategy at all. I think he um, he could definitely make some changes um, to what he's doing. Perhaps he wants to play around with the, the terrain a little bit. Um, uh, yeah, I, th I think he could also look to um, switch up his, his starting strategy if he wanted to change out Sableye. But we'll see what he's got, if he's going to change or if he's going to stay the same. Okay, so we lead with our... Okay, so he's got the same lead. Okay, so I want to switch out um, Dragapult here. Yeah, I want to switch out Dragapult um, here into our NDD. I'm just expecting him to go for um, some kind of plan around using uh, Sableye. Um, and we're going to do... Uh, knowing that we are faster really makes me want to try to take this out sooner. Okay, let's get Sun set up. Because in Sun, we were able to one-shot it after we left Dynamax. So I think if we can get Sun up um, to start off with, then in the next turn, we can use... Because um, if it is weakness policy and we trigger it, I, it's going to hit second, and I don't want that to happen. So if we can get to the point where we... Um, hit the Sableye first, set up Sun, get a higher power Max Flare into the Solgaleo, we may have a chance to um, take it out. Okay, so we decided to Dynamax here. Let's see if he decides to Dynamax as well. I would expect Solgaleo to Dynamax. Okay, he does. I'm hoping that this uh, this terrain can stop like a shadow sneak into Sogaleo. We'll see if it does. I'm kind of expecting uh, Sableye to be like shadow sneak and um, like shadow sneak, quash, potentially fake out and like foul play or something like that. Yeah, so that's perfect. And I kind of thought that that could be. Um, Part of the play was that he didn't want... Ooh, that hit hard. Is that a... That's a Focus Sash? Yeah, that's a Focus Sash. Yeah, so... um, our Because our play could have been a... Yeah. Oh, wow, that took us out on one shot. I, I thought I EV'd this so that it would live that. I guess not. Um, A uh, beat up along with... Actually, we could do beat up now. Yeah, we could beat up now. Because we have the... Yeah, we have the psychic terrain, so we don't have to worry about... Oh, this is so much better. Okay. So we're going to use beat up on our Arcanine. And then we're going to max flare into his Solgaleo. Is that too obvious? Could he max guard? If he does, then we just, well, then we just kill him next turn. Yeah, let's do that. Because if he, if he like, stalls the turn of the Dynamax right now... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. It did seem like a really obvious play. 
But we want to get this big justified boost off. Oh, we crit? Crit our own dude? <laughs> no, you're supposed to crit them. You're supposed to crit them. <laughs> um, and then we can we can KO the um, Soul Glare next turn. So we get um, pl plus three on our Arcanine. Um, yep. There was the option of like going for a KO on the... Um, Wow, that does a huge chunk too. We get another boost, but damn, that hurt. Okay, so now let's go for, um, we want to Shadow Ball into the Sableye and Flare the Soul Glow. And this should, should, should be a double knockout. Foul Play was a good answer um, to all the justified boosts. I think we have a little bit of HP on the Arcanine. I'm guessing that he uh, calced it so that uh, he would kill like a zero HP potentially um, Arcanine if we decide to go with that strategy. So we'll take a look at what this looks like now um, at the end of this turn. I think that he's probably just, oh, he withdraws it. Okay, that makes a lot of sense too. What does he bring in instead? The lantern. Okay. So we take out the Sableye. It makes a lot of sense for him to switch that out. How much does this do? Is that a KO as well? Yeah. Oh man, now I wish I brought Xerneas. <laughs> now I really wish I brought Xerneas. Because that thing was the biggest thing for us to deal with. Oh man, we had such a hard time taking care of that uh, that lantern in game. So let's see, he has the Sogaleo. What does he bring out here? So he's still got the Sogaleo. So we don't know if um, what his last Pokemon is. He's got the Porygon too. Okay, so no no Suicune, no Tipo Coco again. Okay. Still in a good spot. Uh, so he has Protect on the Sogaleo. I kind of think he's going to go for it here. Let's stop Trick Room from going up. Or we could get up a screen. What do we have in the back? We don't have NDD anymore. Yeah, we don't have NDD anymore. Yeah, no, we can't. We, okay, we can't do that. Yeah, let's um let's get a reflect up. And let's get a flare blitz off into the Porygon 2. <laughs> if the Dragon Ball can sort of have another turn, which would be pretty sweet, don't think that's going to happen, then we could get um, a light screen up as well. Okay, we take out the Porygon 2. Trick Room going up might have actually been good for us here. Let's see. Let's see what we... Yeah. Okay, actually, okay, so that, okay, this is actually good. I think we're in a good spot. Getting the Reflect up was really solid here. Okay, so at this point, um, now we want to get, uh, now we just want damage out on this thing. And let's go for, probably, I don't know which one does more. Probably high horsepower. Probably high horsepower. Very interesting. Both of us have ended up in situations where our um, scary restricted Pokemon are the last ones uh, standing. And uh, and facing up two of the opponents. Okay, this is going to be good for us to know. That is not weakness policy. Okay. So he gets a kill on the Dragapult. Okay, that's super good to know. What item is he then? I thought for sure he was going to be weakness policy, but he's not. Okay, so the changes we made uh, helped us out in game two. 
So we'll see what we want to make uh, any changes or if we want to keep things the same for game three. We'll see, we'll see. So taking a look in game three, I think we can start off with a similar strategy that we did in game two. I actually think I'm going to bring the exact same mons that we brought um, in game two. Why not, right? <laughs> that was our that was our winning plan. One thing that um, I'm a little concerned about is if this Suicune decides to come, we don't really have a great way of dealing with it. Um, Xerneas does have an electric attack that it could bring. However, we're not bringing Xerneas this time, and it doesn't have an electric attack uh, on it. So uh, if he reads that, then um, Suicune may look a lot better here. And he also has seen every move our Arcanine has, so he could have been concerned about a wild charge. We'll see. The Suicune could be an issue for us if he decides to bring it this next match. Aside from that, though, it's been some it's been some good games. Um, oh man, that lantern Porygon two combo, ooh, that was real spicy and so good. Um, <laughs> so we'll see we'll see what he's got in game three. But uh, good luck, have fun to uh, Stranger Danger. Uh, this has been some good matches so far. Okay, and we know we did not bring Xerneas, and we did not bring Behem. And he starts off with the Porygon 2 this time. Ooh, interesting. Okay, how do we want to switch this up? The download gives him the special attack boost, okay. I kind of want to just get off screens. I kind of want to just get off screens and switch into our Kapraja as well. I really like that play because I'm fully expecting him to trick room and like honestly you may even just switch out Sableye 2 expecting the NDD to come in. This is an interesting switch so he doesn't start off with the Soul Glare this time. I think there's it's a pre, it's pretty clear that Arcanine is um, putting out enough damage to take out take care of the Soul Glare. So we also want to make sure that we preserve our Arcanine to be able to do that um, in the late game. Okay, so there's the quash, which isn't that big a deal, because I am expecting Trick Room, yeah. So we get the screen up. It messes up the combo of using um, Beat Up before the Arcanine goes, um, so that it makes sense for him to have got that, um, to have changed that um, for this next game. I think we are going to switch over to NDD this time. And at this, do we Dynamax here? That's an idea. We can also just heavy slam. And the Sableye is gonna be an issue when Trick Room ends. So I kinda like that idea. If we can take that thing out. Porygon 2 of course is an issue while Trick Room is going on. However, I... I don't think we. I think we. I don't think that game ends during Trick Room. I think that it continues um, past it. 
and we get the psychic seed boost. So that's that's looking yeah, okay. Yeah, we look in a pretty good spot here. Yep, we're protected by psychic train. This NDD has put in so much work for us. So much work for us. Speed, okay. Into where the Dragon Bolt was. Totally fine. Um, I think at this point, we're going to go for uh, Expanding Force. Not going to do anything to the Sableye. That's fine. Um, we're going to try to kill that thing with uh, the Kapraja. Gotta look at this big elephant. He takes up so much of the screen. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to take care of the Sableye. Okay, totally fine. Expect that to happen. Line turn comes in. Okay, so he's probably going for the Discharge here. Beautiful. That does very little damage. Dang, how tanky is his lantern? Does it really have that much power? I guess so. Is it worthwhile to dynam? I don't think it's worthwhile to dynamax here. Although this is nice, because now we get a shot at both of them. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but does some. Does some. So the lantern's gonna be able to stall us out of it uh, quite a bit. We're still going to go for the Expanding Force. And, uh, oh. Does he have any flyers? He doesn't have any flyers. Do we just want to hit this thing? How much is it going to heal from Volt Absorb? That's the part that I don't know. Let's find out. It's going to be famous last words. Let's find out. But I think this is this is the play, I think. Ooh, and if we get our attack off first. Oh no, we're a water type. <laughs> this discharge is gonna hurt us so much. Okay, how much do you heal? Can we kill you with expanding force from here? We're we're assault vest on the um the cop rajah, so we're still not gonna take very much damage here. Even with that. Uh, okay, good, 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 good. Man, if we got a full pair of that would have been so sad. Do we kill the Sit Lantern? We don't! Oh, that's so close. Um, I think we just go for this again, though. I, don't, I can't see any reason why not to. Um, high, high horsepower, of course, would be really solid here, too. Um, okay, one thing we need to be aware of. If we lose NDD and we lose the terrain, then Sableye becomes way more of an issue in the late game. So it could be worthwhile for us to switch out at some point here. Okay, that's fine. Could be worthwhile for us to switch out here um, so that we can preserve the NDD for um, Psychic Terrain in the late game. Okay, and recover on the Porygon too. Wow, how many turns of Trick Room are left? It's got to be close to the end, right? There might be one or... Okay, returns now. Okay. In which case... How many turns of Psychic Train left? This is the last turn. Okay. So... I think at this point... I'm going to keep Cup Raja in here. Let's switch in... Yeah, let's switch in Dragapult. And let's get a, a heavy slam off, on, not heavy slam, a high horsepower, right? High horsepower out on the lantern. I know we want to have access to psychic terrain in the late game. I think that's going to be worthwhile for us. Getting screens back up would be good. So he'll get the heal off. I think we still kill with high horsepower, though. Yeah, I think we still kill with high horsepower. He could go electric move on. Okay. Was expecting the NDD to stay in. Avoided the attack. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's such a terrible spot for us. Okay. Um, well. We're going to get light screen back up. And uh, Cop Raj would be real great if you don't miss this time. Don't miss this time. We didn't want you to miss last time. We don't want you to miss this time. Oh my gosh, this thing's going to get back up to like full HP. My heart. Kaparaja. Buddy, you're killing me. Oh, he's going for a trick room again. 
There we go. All right. There we go. <laughs> okay, that's tricky. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Copper Ultra probably becomes a sack at this point. Um, let's see, what's he? So, Lantern's gone. Gosh, that thing was was real strong. What's this one? one? Real annoying mon. Real annoying mon. Eerie Impulse, Rising Voltage, Soak. Really interesting combinations. Okay, there's the Soul Galeo. Okay, so he's brought, this, he's brought the same Pokemon again. Yeah, because we already saw the Sableye earlier. So we're in Trick Room this time. We don't have our Focus Sash. We also don't have Reflect Up. We probably die to a Crunch. Almost certainly die to a Crunch. Do we want to get up Psychic Terrain? Or do we want to let this thing go? And get a free switch in. Let's do that. And... Well, that's high horsepower on Soul Glow. Yeah, let's get this uh, train back up. I think Indy is probably going to die off here. I don't expect it to live. I'm expecting a Crunch to come out. Oh, I guess maybe not a Crunch. Maybe it's like, going to be a Max Darkness. Protect this time. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. So this is going to take out the Kaparaja. Oh, Discharge is going to hit your own Mon. Okay, if that's the case... So we lose Kapraja here. So let's bring in the Arcanine. And... Uh, hmm. We could follow me. We could also helping hand. So we know we know the Solgaleo is slower. So I think follow me makes a lot of sense here. Because I don't think this is going to die from a... Um... Yeah, it's not going to die from a discharge. But it might die from the either Max Darkness if he decides Dynamax, which he probably does here. Or um, from whatever, whatever move he decides to use on Solgaleo. But I think we could eat a discharge and a second hit, and then we potentially Oko the Solgaleo, hopefully. I would take that. If that's what happened, I would take that. <laughs> so let's see what he's got. Yeah, so he's uh, Dynamaxing first. Trick Room has been a pretty good bring uh, this game. I was not expecting Solgaleo to be slower than Arcanine. That definitely caught me off guard, because I was thinking that I was going to be going second um, in this fight. How much speed did we put on our Arcanine? We put quite a bit. What were we trying to have speed? Um. Okay, we, we're outspeeding the Torque Cat. That was the plan. Oh no! Did we really... We got parried. That's okay, this is dying anyway. We got parried though. We wouldn't have taken the ice beam, I guess, but the rest of that part didn't matter. So NDD goes down. That probably didn't change very much in the end. It's unfortunate it happened, but it didn't really change that much. Okay, that did less than half. With the flare. Could that do more? I think it could. We're gonna try to set up um, Reflect. Or with the sun up. With the sun up, we might be able to do more than half. So we're gonna set up. Let's see, we don't have any screens up right now, I don't think. We have light screen up. Okay. Yeah, let's get um, Reflect up. Would not be surprised if he goes after this Dragapult. And let's get a flare off into the Solgaleo. Could he max guard here? How many turns of trick? Uh, I feel like he's got to try to use trick room turns. So I don't think he's going to um, 
Yeah, I don't see him max guarding. Would have been useful for us to max guard, potentially. That could, that could, might have been a good play. How much does Ice Beam do? Enough for us to live. That's nice. Steel Spike. Probably KOs us here. Yeah, definitely KOs us here. Gets another defense boost. How is this looking? So we're... Alright, Arcanine, you got a 3v1 at the end here. Not exactly looking like it's in a good spot for this uh, for Arcanine to take care of this game. How much is this going to do? That does still get us the KO. Oh, that's huge. Oh, it's a crit. Okay. I feel like that... I don't think we would have KO'd it without the crit. I think that crit really uh, was beneficial for us here. So now he's got Porygon 2, and he should still have Sableye, right? Did I forget to take it off? I don't think it's come in. Yeah, okay, there it is. Super low health. How many turns of Trick Room? And how many turns of... So let's see, last turn of Trick Room, last turn of Light Screen. It's two more turns of Second Screen. Okay, those are all great things for us. So, how do we want to do this? Do I just want to not take a lot of damage here? I like that idea. If we can guard this turn... I don't think that's worthwhile. Could we KO this Porygon too? I don't think so. I don't really want to deal with the Sableye anymore. I could see... This endgame is going to be very interesting. Okay, so he goes for a recover. Just to get back up to full. Did he lose track of how many uh, trick room times there was? I think he tried to get, could have tried to get us some damage on, on us. Well, crit for crit, you know? We do get the justified boost, though. That's pretty big. Okay, so we take out Sableye. We're at plus one. No more light screen, regular dimensions. God, these games are so close. Oh, these are such good games. Oh man, one for one, one to one now. Uh, can we KO this? See, cause I, all right, if I was him, I would recover right here. Cause I don't think we KO him. And if we do, then we're just taking life orb chip until we die, right? So I feel like you just recover spam until the game's over. So let's see if he does that. Oh, we don't even do half. And it's the sun, and we're at plus one. Oh man, Porygon 2, greatest Pokemon of all time. <laughs> um, I do think that we are... Does extreme speed kill here? There's no psychic turn anymore. Well, here's the thing. We're either dead or we're dead, you know? We're either dead or we're dead. So <laughs> we're going to find out if we can kill him first. <laughs> if we can get the extreme speed off and it's enough for the kill, which I don't think it is. No way. Yeah, it's, it's not even close. Then we're just dead. Yeah, so you can just recover spam. See, I wouldn't even think I would have trick room last time. I would just recover spam. Oh, man. Good game, though. What a freaking good game. I'm going to die to the life orb chip here. If I'm gonna die from Life Orb Ship. Oh man, what a freaking good game though. Alright. GG to Stranger Danger. Oh man, what a game. What a freaking good game. That was the first game of the season for us. VGC Series 8 uh, Draft League. Oh man, so good. Well played to Stranger Danger. What a freaking amazing game. Let's take off that Arcanine. That, um,. Uh, that Porygon 2 got the last uh, last kill of the game here, so amazing game. Um, if uh, you enjoyed this game, looking for some more draft content, please feel free to uh, like and subscribe um, to the channel, and uh, we'll see you next time.